Meantime, musicians with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra will not be going to work today. They're locked out after management and those musicians failed to come up with a salary agreement. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight is outside the Meyerhoff in Baltimore now with that story this morning. Megan, what's going on? All right, Christian. Yeah, the uh, financial issues that are facing the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra have taken yet another turn. This time, the musicians are being told that they are locked out of the Meyerhoff beginning today. The BSO Board of Directors sending out a statement last night saying that they approved the lockout of the musicians and that they enacted it after management and the players did not come to a collective bargaining agreement. The BSO says that it has been struggling financially for years and steps to try to increase revenue have not worked. A few weeks ago, the organization announced it would be canceling its summer performances in an effort to save money. Now, another big issue that's been facing the BSO is its state funding is now up in the air. Last week, Governor Larry Hogan talked about his concerns for releasing $3.2 million that was approved by the General Assembly. We continually pour millions and millions of dollars into the BSO, uh, but they've got real serious issues and problems uh, with the management, uh, with losing the support of their donor base. Now, Baltimore County said that it would pay the musicians to come and play at their 4th of July event at Oregon Ridge Park coming up next month. However, as far as the contract talks go, the negotiations go with salary, the BSO Board of Directors say that no meetings or sessions have been scheduled with the two sides. We're live in Mount Vernon. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News. Okay, Megan, yeah, sounds like trouble there. We'll continue to follow that story.